Today we're going to be talking about how to take care of harsh highlights in Photoshop. So you have taken a picture of a subject with a fairly white dress and the last thing you want her to say, hey, where's the detail in my dress? So folks, here's the deal. Don't make it worse by blaming the camera, the printer or anything else or even worse, don't try and explain exposure compensation. You better learn how to fix that in Photoshop. So without any further ado, let's jump straight in. So even though here we are in Photoshop, I want you to know a little something. This is not your first line of defense. Your first line of defense is getting it right in the camera. So if you're shooting shutter priority or aperture priority for that matter, make sure you switch to exposure compensation and bring the exposure down. And your second line of defense is shooting in RAW. See when you're shooting in RAW, you capture more than what you see at the back of the camera. In technical language, you capture more dynamic range. So without any more hustle bust and beating about the bush, let's get started. In the first example, as you can see, instead of a dress, her face is blown out. Now here's what to do. Go to channels. Now you might remember this from my tutorial on removing harsh shadows. It's just the opposite. There's a little variation, but it's just the opposite. Okay. Press and hold controller command. Click on RGB. Now what it does is that it selects the brighter areas of the photo. Now in that tutorial, we inverted the selection because we wanted to affect the darker areas of the photo. But in this, we want to affect the brighter areas, so we won't invert the selection. So let's come back to layers and press Ctrl Command J with that selection still on. What that does is that it puts the brighter areas on its own layer. If you can see, if I press and hold Alter Option and if I click here, as you can see, the brighter areas are on its own layer. Now, what was the blend mode which darkens up stuff? Multiply, right? So change the blend mode to multiply and there we go. We got the details back. Have a look. So this is the before, this is the after. If you want more details, press Ctrl Command J again. Having this layer, having layer one selected, you've got more details. Now make a group of both of those. How to do that? Press and hold Ctrl Command and select the other one. That way you have both of them selected. Now Ctrl Command G. Now both of them are in a group. Have a look before, after. Now we have got rid of the details on her face, but as you can see, if you don't want to get rid of the shine from her hair, here's what to do. This is the before, this is the after. Her face is fine, but the shine of her hair, you're kind of missing that, right? So let's zoom in. All you have to do, create a negative mask. How to do that? Press and hold alter option and click on this button, mask button. Now take the brush, make sure the foreground color is white, make sure the flow is low, somewhere around 20 ish. If it's not, bring it down. Okay. And start painting over her face with white. Okay. There we go. Now we are bringing back the details. There we go. Have a look. If I zoom out, have a look before, after we have not lost the details from her hair, we still have the shine, but we still also have the details on her face. Also what you can do, you can just darken parts of her hair to enhance the shine. If you understand what I mean, there we go. It's kind of a more dramatic look. Okay, something like that before, after makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? But here's what might not make sense, but I'll try my level best to make some sense out of it. Now, here's the thing. If you have a sharp memory, that image was black and white. This is color and things go a little different when you're retouching color images. And that's most of our time we are doing retouching color images. We are not back in the days anyway. So the first thing here too, all you have to do, go to channels, click on RGB by holding the controller command and then control the command J to put it on its own layer. Now there's a little variation here. Okay. Change the blend mode to multiply. It's all the same. Copy it. If you want control the command J and make a group out of it. Okay. We'll do the pretty much same things. Alter option, click on this and start painting over her dress, dress with a soft flow. I always get confused between H and S, but whatever. Flow maybe around 10 this time and start painting over her dress. Now here's the issue here. When you're dealing with color photos, you'll see a color shift. And the last thing you want is to make her dress look yellow and dirty. You don't want that, right? So here's what to do. First, let's bring back the details. Let's zoom in and let's paint in gently. Okay. Now we have pretty much some details as you can see. There we go. Decrease the size of the brush and start painting over here. There we go. Start painting here. We have some details back. Paint over here. Okay. Pretty much good. We are pretty much in shape. Have a look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. We do have some details, but here's the thing. Her dress is looking dirty. 
Here's what to do. Create an adjustment layer. Which one? Vibrance. Click on this gray white icon. Create an adjustment layer. Create vibrance adjustment layer. Now, click on this button. This creates a clipping mask, which means that this adjustment layer will only affect this group. Okay, so click on this button and take the vibrance down till it matches. There we go. Have a look. Before it was yellow. After vibrance, it's not yellow anymore. This is the overall before, overall after. Now you can go ahead, click on the mask and you can paint in precisely the areas that you want to darken. Okay, just like that and you're pretty much in shape, right? It's pretty much fine. Have a look. Everything, the details are back. So this is the before. This is the after. So that's how you recover harsh highlights in Photoshop. Just remember, go to the channels, press and hold controller command, click on RGB, put it on its own layer by pressing controller command J, and then change the blend mode to multiply. If you want more details, press control J again to duplicate that layer, make a group out of it, and paint in the areas if you want. And then, don't forget, if you're dealing with color images, don't forget to add a vibrance adjustment layer and bring down the vibrance till it matches. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give us a like and also, don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you, my friend, don't miss anything. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating. Mm-hmm.